I'm going to do a brief uh, review of Walther's prototype um, GP35 in the Gulf Mobile in Ohio black and white uh, scheme road number 637. So this is actually considered to be a phase two locomotive or a lot of people within the railroad industry call these phase two locomotives but EMD never really gave it a um, designation of this so I think it's interesting that they actually um, mark this as a phase two locomotive. This is the actual uh, first Walther's Proto model that I've actually purchased. Most of my locomotives are either um, Atherin or they are Intermountain so I'm anxious to get this opened up and see how it runs. So I'm going to talk through here a little bit while I'm doing the unboxing. Um, I was excited that they came out with this uh, GP35 because uh, as most all of you know that by now if you've followed my videos quite regularly I model Illinois Central, Illinois Central Golf from the you know roughly early to mid 80s so after Illinois Central merged with the Gulf Mobile in Ohio they took over all of GMNO's locomotives and rolling stock. Some locomotives were actually uh, painted into the Illinois Central Gulf's orange and white scheme that we uh, all recognize. Some of them never received a fresh coat of paint. So this prototype road number is actually um, never received any fresh paint so this actually served its whole life in the black and white and never got repainted until it was um, basically taken out of service and scrapped in the early 1990s. So the packaging on this again this is my first ever Walther's Proto. It is to me other than the box the packaging, packaging itself is very similar to um, the Walther's, or I'm sorry, the Atherin with the plastic cradle um, within a plastic blister sleeve and with a uh, clear sort of cellophane covering the locomotive. So there are, are there is some paperwork that comes with the locomotive. Uh, this one talks about the uh, various decoder functions. So this does have a tsunami uh, decoder in it, so I'm going to have to take a look at that before I start operating it because I've never used a Walther's Proto, so I just want to make sure that the function numbers or the assignments are similar. Here's just the parts sheet and schematic diagram, and then here's the locomotive. So I'm just going to do a real brief uh, once over here the locomotive. Pretty standard EMD model with the uh, cab. Uh, very detailed in terms of the MU hoses and the front walk stand. I love the contrast of the black, the white, and the yellow. All of the grab irons are yellow, which is actually a nice little detail in the prototype. One of the interesting things, these were brand new locomotives back in the 1960s, but EMD actually did do um, some recycling of parts. So these trucks are actually uh, AAR type B trucks. A lot of people refer to them as Alco trucks. It's one of the main spotting features on the Gulf Mobile in Ohio GP35s because they all had the Alco trucks uh, and then the ones that were repainted Illinois Central Orange and White also had the Alcos. Sort of slide this forward here a little bit. You can see here's the dynamic brake housing, uh, fuel tank, Another great spotting feature of the GP35s, the two um, radiator fans, the large size and then the small one in, in between. Again, just nice detail on the back with the yellow uh, grab irons, treaded walkway, MU hoses. Um, very highly detailed model. The paint is absolutely sharp. It's a uh, the, the the black paint, and I know it's hard to see it. That's bright and sunny today, so I'm getting a lot of uh, shine through through my shades. But 
the black is actually very matte in color so um, it just has uh, it's just a beautiful beautiful paint job so let's go ahead and take this over to the layout and I'm gonna hook it up to my JMRI and take a look at it okay so this is my computer and you can see one of the things I did is I actually took a picture of my layout and made it the background um, and really this is just my JMRI computer so I got rid of all of the icons with the exception of Panel Pro, Decoder Pro, and Sound Pro. We are interested in doing Decoder Pro so I'm going to double click on that. So this is connected to my Digitrack system via the PR3 USB uh, interface. It's a Java server so it takes Java a few seconds to get loaded up here so you can see that it's pulling up. It gives me the uh, uh, choice of what I want to use. I want to use the Decoder Pro, so I'm going to click OK. So it's going to go ahead and load this. I put my uh, GP35 on my programming track, which on the image, it's actually this uh, short little caboose track. I have that wired up uh, to be my programming track. Okay, so it takes from on my computer, I have an older computer, about 35 seconds for it to load up, so I didn't want to have to sit through all that. So when it gets loaded, here is uh, the my diesel roster so I'm going to go ahead and click on new locomotive to add to the uh, um, GP35 okay so once you get into the soundtrack so I'm going to scroll down here they have Tsunami 2 diesel so I'm going to open up that box there are several different choices here I'm going to go ahead and uh, select uh, TSU PNP uh, diesels EMD diesel so I'm going to double click that then it's going to pop up. So here's where I'm going to add it to my roster. So um, I'm going to pause the video because I'm going to have to get in front of the computer to type all this in, but I'll start it back up here as soon as I get all the information typed in. Okay, so I entered all that information in. ID is 637. I just used the road number as the identification. Road name, Gulf Mobile in Ohio. Road number 637, Walther's uh, model GP35, Tsunami 2. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom. I'm going to click on um, Write Changes on Sheets. Oops, I'm sorry. Before I do that, Save to Roster. And then we can write changes on all sheets. So the first thing I always do is I click this Basic tab, and it takes me into being able to process the or change the uh, default DCC address. So on this model the default DCC address is 3. This is a short so this would be a two digit. I'm going to go ahead and click this to long. Add my road number which is 637. And I'm going to go ahead and click on right. So then if you could hear that in the background you could see that it, um, it actually the decoder was making some clicking noise and then down here it went to OK. So if I go back to roster entry, you can see that this uh, grayed out section changed from 3 to 637. One of the things I always like to look at is the sound levels. Um, sometimes, you know, I've I said this for a long time, Atherin products out of the box are very, very loud. So here you can change any of the sound values you want to. I'm going to leave this for now since I haven't even had this locomotive started up yet. Um, you can click the speed table. shows you what the speed table looks like. I'm going to click on, I'm more interested in the function map, so I click on function map. So headlight is F0, uh, several uh, FX effects. Dimmer is F7, mute F8 brake F11, half speed F14, uh, grade crossing signal F9, uh, forward whistle signal, those are disabled for some reason. But we have a lot of functions on here. Looks like we can notch up the RPMs with F5 and F6, air horn is F2, bell F1, dynamic brake F4, short horn, straight to 8 is F10, so a lot of these coupler, coupler release, handbrake, sander valve. So it has a lot of uh, functions that you would normally find on the Tsunami 2 decoders. 
one of the things I want to check is I'm going to click on sound. You can actually change the air horn. I'm just curious to see. Okay, so there is there are a bunch of air horns on here. One of my favorites, the Nathan P5. Right now it's set up to be a Nathan K3LA, which is prototypical for this. I can't believe how many horn choices there are on here. So that's that's really good. If you ever wanted to come in here and change the horn, you could do that. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Dynamic brakes, operate independent. Okay, so you have a lot of choices you can change here. I'm not going to change anything on here because I want to do a startup sequence and see how this locomotive behaves. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply track power here. F0 is going to be the headlight. F1 should be the bell. F2 is the horn. F3 short horn. F4 is dynamic brakes. F7 is the dimmer. F8 mute. And I do like to say, um, I apologize, one of my GP10s, the spitter valve was spitting when I powered the track up, so that's what you're hearing. The uh, volume on this is awesome. It's not too loud, it's not too quiet, so um, they have the sound volume perfect in my opinion. F10's coupler. Okay, I'm going to apply a little bit of power here. Engage the prime mover. 